next question. How would you solve this? The bike starts from rest and accelerates uniformly at the rate of 4.8 meters per second square. Calculate the time it takes to cover a distance of 240 meters. How would you solve this? First of all, what which of the equations of rectilinear motion would you use? I want you to decide. Pause this video and write out your equation. Okay, let's see. Let's write out the parameters we have. The bike starts from rest. Since it's starting from rest, that means your initial velocity is equal to zero meters per second. Accelerate uniformly. Accelerate is equal to accelerate uniformly at the rate of 4.8 meters per second squared. That's your acceleration. Calculate the time it takes. Time unknown. To cover a distance of distance 240 meters. Hence, we have U, A, T, and S. Which of the equations is the second equation of rectilinear motion? That states that S is equal to U, T plus half A, T squared. Let me finish it up here. Okay, this is the next question. A bike starts from rest and accelerates uniformly at the rate of 4.8 meters per second squared. Calculate the time it takes to cover a distance of 240 meters. Which equation of rectilinear motion would I use to solve this? I want you to attempt this. Pause this video and write out your own equation. Okay, let's see. What are the parameters you have? A bike starts from rest. Since it's starting from rest, that means your initial velocity is zero meters per second. What else do we have? Accelerates uniformly. Our acceleration is equal to accelerate at the rate of 4.8 meters per second square. Calculate the time. Time is unknown. Calculate the time it takes to cover a distance of 240. Our distance is 240 meters. From these parameters, we know that this is the equation we use. Ut plus half a t square. If you have gotten this equation, that means you've done the right thing. Let's continue from here. Let's substitute. What's our S? S is 240 equal to UT. U is 0. 0 multiplied by T. Our T is unknown, so we just write T. Plus half, half A T squared. A is 4.8 multiplied by T squared. Our T is unknown, so we write T. So we have 240 is equal to 0 multiplied by t is 0, right? So plus, plus, half multiplied by 4.8, we have 2.4 multiplied by t squared. Hence we have 240 is equal to 0 plus 2.4 t squared. 0 plus 2.4 t squared is 2.4 t squared. Zero times t is zero plus half times four point eight. We have two point four times t squared is two point four t squared. Two point four times t squared is two point four t squared. So that means two hundred and forty is equal to zero plus two point four t squared is two point four t squared. The zero amounts to nothing. You know this can be expressed as two point four t squared is equal to 240. It's the same thing. You're putting this to the left, take this to the right. Now to get t squared, we divide both sides by the coefficient of t squared, which is 2.4. Divide both sides by 2.4. So when 2.4 cancels 2.4, you'll be left with t squared equals to 240 divided by 2.4, you have 100. If t squared is equal to 100, If t squared is equal to 100, to get t, you find the square root of both sides. Square root of the expression on the left, square root of the expression on the right. The square root of t squared is t. The square root of 100 is 10. Actually, the square root of 100 is plus or minus 10. 
but our time cannot be considered negative because we cannot say um, it takes minus question. You don't read time backwards. This is a real life situation. It's a real life um, event. So it's your time is reading in the positive direction. So our time is 10 seconds since time cannot be negative in this situation. So that's our answer. So I'll give you a practice question. You practice that, then you compare your answer with mine. A boy was running at an initial velocity of 1.5 meters per second. If he accelerates at a uniform rate of 0.5 meters per second square, calculate the time taken for his velocity to increase to 6 meters per second. So solve this question and you compare yours with mine. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time. You call out Oibo. Oibo. Why are you speaking to Oibo? Oibo. You the Lagos Oibo. If I carry you go banana, my guy, you go love Lagos.